Who would have believed that a student's dogged determination to excel in her final year project will give birth to a company that is today listed on the Nigeria Stock Exchange? Who would have known that the professors and lecturers who contributed to the success of that project will become board members in the company formed by their own student? Who could have predicted that the company will leave to celebrate its 26th anniversary and go on spreading in Africa? That, in a nutshell, is the story of the Omotech Group. Welcome to the world of Omatech. Some visionaries amongst us saw an apparent need to champion the use of application of ICT in our day-to-day -day lives. They were rightly convinced on the impact information technology will have on all human endeavors years to come, and they devoted their time and energy to that pursuit. One clear visionary, an Amazon of the computing industry who has truly transformed the way we use, apply and even acquire computers in Nigeria and indeed Africa is Mrs. Florence Omatunle Seriki, the founder and group managing director of Omatech Ventures PLC. It's very, very critical for Africa to start to go into manufacturing in the ICT sector because for so many years, we have been consumers of finished products. This is the only chance we have to start to be able to produce our own computers. Most computer companies you see today started out by selling compact. Omatech is 26 years old today, and way back, we were resellers for compact, for IBM, and Apple, and for years, we created a distribution channel. When will Africa stop to be consumers of finished food? And yet, Africans are complaining of lack of jobs, of unemployment, of how we can, in, they were worried of how we empower our youth. The only way I see us being able to empower our youth and do this in Africa is to produce. Whilst training bank executives and oil company executives on how to use their computers, the executives also relied on her expertise to source for their personal computers in 1988. She then proceeded to become a premium partner for the foremost foreign brands in the likes of Compaq, HP, IBM and Apple. In 1993, after posting over $1 million in revenue from sales of these brands, Omatech commenced the assembly of Omatech brand of computers from semi knocked down parts, SKD. Omatech. Owing to the successful launch of Omatech brand of computers and the increasing demand for the products, the company further diversified its base and commenced the production of computers and other components from completely knocked down parts, CKD, making Omatech the first factory in Africa to produce computer casings from CKD, the assembling of computers and notebooks from CKD. The company further graduated into buying component parts from seasoned first-class manufacturers that produce for other foreign brands. Credit must be given to the regime of the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Chief Olushego Obasanjo, whose policy on SME encouraged Omatech and a host of other companies to seek joint venture arrangements in order to further boost their market share. The regime also supported indigenous manufacturers with enabling policies that encouraged the patronage of locally assembled computers within the federal parastatal. The Computer for All Nigerians initiative, CANI, also championed by the former president, ensured personal ownership of Made in Nigeria computers by federal civil servants at a subsidized rate to be repaid over a period of time. The 
establishment of the factory also marked Omatech's metamorphosis into an original equipment manufacturer, OEM, with capacity to build volume required for the Nigerian as well as the African market, and also transfer technology to Nigerians, and thereon build the needed critical mass of IT professionals required to drive the industry. To underscore Omatech's commitment towards extending access of computers and allied products, Omatech designed and deployed initiatives geared towards extending acquisition of computers for all segments of society. The e-Express scheme, which comprises of the e-Consumer, e-Youth, e-Tertiary and e-Mobile, will provide products for consumer-oriented buyers. The youths in schools and their institutions, the tertiary level students and their tutors, and also the upwardly as well as horizontally mobile executives on the move respectively. The scheme will extend a credit line to the beneficiary who is required to pay over a maximum period of three years for any product of their choice. A bouquet of products ranging from the revolutionary 8-inch smartbook to the rugged Omatech Hummer are made available for acquisition through the scheme with express funding. To further deepen the accessibility of the scheme, a state-centered scheme was designed to ensure citizens of all states in Nigeria have access to a computer. Through a bold vision and the determination to be a leader in the ICT industry within Africa and beyond, Omatech has consistently sought partnership with institutions and cooperatives alike across the country for the operation of resource centers where capacity can be developed and transferred, research and development into new products and services can be attained, and the creation of the critical mass of IT executives and technicians can be a reality for a burgeoning industry. Today, Omatech has in place a compact memorandum of understanding with several institutions of learning scattered across the country and in Ghana with resource centers within their campuses offering diverse expertise and also serving as an after-sales service center for all Omatech brand of products. As part of its efforts to create brand visibility as well as equity, Omatech has embarked on the situation and operation of chains of showrooms referred to as one-stop shops. These outlets will retail Omatech brand of products either as a subset of the Omatech group or as franchise owners on behalf of the brand. Currently, locations across the country have been identified and are undergoing renovations befitting the vision the company intends to create with the initiative. In recognition of the quality of product Omatech produces, Microsoft Corporation in 2005 awarded the Best System Builder Award to the company to Omatech. cover East, West and Central Africa. Omatech also received the Kwame Nkrumah Award for Excellence, IT Company of the Year 2008 amongst other notable awards. Omatech. Having successfully created brand equity and also pioneering the manufacturing process from CKD parts, the company embarked on the first of a series of repositioning in 2007. Subsequently, Omatech embarked on a strategy designed to see it exit the joint venture initiative under the Small and Medium Enterprise Investment Scheme, ensured it raised required capital through private placement that saw it raising over 5 billion naira, ensured it gets listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange with 2.9 billion naira of the company's share currently being traded. A new and publicly quoted company emerged called Omatech Ventures PLC. Omatech Ventures PLC is currently a holding company comprising of Omatech Ventures Distribution Limited, Omatech Engineering Services, Omatech Computers Limited, and Omatech Computers Ghana Limited. These subsidiaries are registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission of Nigeria and Ghana to further give 
impetus to the restructuring going on and also further create subunits that will wholly own their activities and deliver on the mandates expected of them. The board is chaired by a distinguished gentleman of many achievements, Dr. Tim Farinri. Other members include Professor Ayo Gunye, all accomplished academicians, Otumba Oladuni, Chief Kola Bajomo, all accomplished businessmen and repositories of knowledge in business terrains with collective experiences spanning several decades. The company also unveiled some of its new products and also awarded some key institutions that have in no small measure contributed to the excellent growth of the Omatech brand. Omatech also strengthened its management team for better performance with the engagement of seasoned managers to man strategic portfolios in sales, accounting and the overall administration of the company. The repositioning of the team will further boost the company's efforts to a situating key sectors under a holistic scheme for better service delivery. We have indeed come a long way. We have relied quite exclusively on your support as customers and will continue to do so as we make bold to say we are more determined to make your computing experience worth your while and hassle-free. You have taught us, nurtured our growth and ensured we take clear leadership where our peers have faltered. As we begin to engage the world, we say to you, our numerous customers far too many to mention. Our stock and trade for the future is to further present to you a business solution tailored to meet your needs. Be it in the academia, be it in the public sector, be it in manufacturing, telecommunications or finance. We have created that niche and we are engaging the world because with you, we will remain daring and capable.